how would I describe us as a couple, an odd couple? You wouldn't say we're a normal couple in that sense, but that anybody's normal. You know, we make the most of what we have. As long as the good days outweigh the bad days, I say, it's all good. My mum was very tough on me, and because of that, she's made me the person that I am. If I fell over, she would never pick me up. She would say, Helen, if, are you okay? If you have you hurt yourself, no, well, get up. And she would walk off and leave me. But, you know, when I was a bit older, she explained to me, you know, I'm not always going to be here. You, Helen, you need to be able to get up yourself. And I think that's what made us the way we are. It made us determined and wanted to make a life for ourselves, I suppose. When I was young, I was in the industry and I had um, lots of physio. And they got me on my feet, but I kept falling over and over. Too much alcohol. Crack, crack, crack in my head open. Your nose, broken nose. You and broken nose and eyebrows. I looked like a boxer in the end. You know, Rob was in the chair from when I met him, I wasn't, I was walking. Just getting to places, the logistics of, you know, getting Rob in and out of the manu with the manual wheelchair, me pushing him in the manual wheelchair. When I think back now, I don't know how we managed. I don't know how we did it. You know, if we went away, you know, we would have to take a manual wheelchair, which makes Rob even more dependent. And I mean, here I am walking on two artificial legs and trying to, to push him. Um, and we knew if, if we were going to go further down in this relationship, as in getting married or living together or whatever the case may be, then we would need a vehicle. And I think once we saw this vehicle at this exhibition, we just both looked at each other and said, We were sold. That had to be, that's what it was going to be. It's very hard because you, you have a disability but you don't know, well you do have an idea what your needs are, but you don't know what's out there. We wanted a vehicle where, um, well I wanted a vehicle where Rob could sit up, would be able to sit up the front with me and not be in a van where we'd have to yell to each other. I mean we wanted to be a couple or do what any other normal couple would be, you know, do. So we decided this was going to be it. We went down that track, we looked at the pricing. Um, Rob and I had both been good savers. We had the money to purchase the vehicle, um, but unfortunately we didn't have the money to, to, to pay for the modification that needed to be done. So um, we wrote a letter together to Dick Smith and after about three days we had a reply saying that he agreed to give us some funding towards, he thought it was a good cause. So, so we, we were able to raise the rest of the money over a period of 12 months and and well, the rest is history, as they say, really. I love the car. It is beautiful to drive. Um, and the modifications we have done to it are exactly what we need. It's, it, it's not a chore to say, oh, let's go somewhere. It's easy to do. It's, it's just great. And I don't think we could have anything better for us. It's like, um, it's like having new legs. <laughs> <laughs>